Yo, what is up guys, Masterly Gaming here, and uh, just real quick, before I start the video, you're gonna have to check out, well you don't have to, but I mean, if you wanna, like, know about the channel, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to check out the previous video about the channel update, because there's some serious stuff regarding my channel in that video. So yeah, if you're gonna, uh, want to know about my channel, you're gonna have to check out that video. Because I'm no, I'm no longer going to be Masterly Gaming. Because there's going to be a lot less gaming on this channel. So, um, right now I'm going to talk about the NFL. Um, I have two things to talk about. And that is the Raiders. And that, actually no, three things. The Raiders, um, LeGarrette Blunt, and, uh, okay, kid, you're going to have to get out of the way. Sorry. You're going to have to get out of the way. Uh, the Raiders, LeGarrette Blunt, and the Michael Vick, Geno Smith situation. Stop getting in the way, cat. Sorry. Um, so, first thing I'm going to talk about is the Raiders. So, as you may or may not know, I'm uploading this on Friday. And last night, the Raiders have just, have just won their first game out of 15 games. Out of the last 15 games that they've played. They just won the first game. And my cat's about to get in the way again. I'm sorry, you're going to have to get out of the way, cat. Um, okay, seriously. Alright. Um, and, uh, and of all the people that they could have won against, they won against the Chiefs, okay? Now, the Chiefs are not, obviously, not the best team in the league. They're not even close to the best team in the league. But they're definitely far from the worst. I would have understood it if the Chiefs, if the... The Raiders went against, like, the Titans or against the Jaguars. But against the Chiefs, um, I don't believe it. I mean, I know what happened, and I'm really surprised about it, but I just don't believe that it happened. I mean, seriously. How could the Chiefs let up, like, a great... I mean, before I saw the game, I thought that the Chiefs had it in the bag. Because the Raiders are arguably the worst team in the NFL. Don't go hating on me, Raiders fans. Please don't. But, I'm serious. The Raiders are probably the worst team in the NFL. They haven't won a game in 15 games, in the last 15 games. They finally just won. Um, let's see. Um, yeah. So, um, I'd say that they're probably the worst team in the NFL because they've already, they're the first team to get canceled from the playoffs. There's no way they can make it. Let's see. I mean, I understand it. Derek Carr is the quarterback. They were better off with Terrell Pryor, and he's not even that good. So they have Derek Carr. The The only two good players are, like, Marcel Reese, the fullback, and Seabass, Sebastian Janikowski, the kicker. Now, the kicker isn't really, like, it's a, it's an important role in the team, but it doesn't, if you're a kicker, it doesn't, you, you just, like, have to know one thing, and that's how to kick accurately and strong. Now, um... Let's see, yeah. So, Seabass and Marcel are, like, the only two good people on the team. Because they're just not a good team. And they're okay, you know. These people are pretty good, but they're okay, you know. So, um, yeah, leads me to the next subject. This one's going to be short. But it's about the Steelers releasing LeGarrette Blunt, the second string running back. Now, when the season started, I thought that LeGarrette Blunt and Le'Veon Bell were going to be, like, the best running back duo now, you don't really hear much about running back duos. In fact, I don't even know if it's a thing. But if it isn't, I just made it up. Because a lot of uh, teams use two different running backs. Like, for instance, before he was injured, Stephen Ridley and Shane Vereen. Or, let's see, Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis, and uh, what's it called? And what's his name? Little Gio, Giovanni Bernard. You know? So, a lot of teams use, like, dual threat running backs. So, in this case, for the Steelers, it was... LeGarrette Blunt and Le'Veon Bell, who are both really good power backs. They break tackles. They're great. So, yeah, um, I heard that the reason why LeGarrette Blunt was uh, released is because of, like, uh, what's it called? Selfish something, whatever it's called. Like, he was being selfish, basically. I'm not sure if that's really a reason to release, like, a star player. But I guess it is to the Steelers. I mean, they still have Le'Veon Bell, who's, like, a great... He's really good. He's within... I wouldn't say he's anywhere near, but he's within the the same category as DeMarco Murray. 
Don't hate on me if you totally disagree, because I understand if you disagree, but that's my personal opinion. Le'Veon Bell is not with... He's nowhere near as good as... Well, I mean, you couldn't really categorize good, because, you know, some people are better at different things. So, I mean... Le'Veon Bell is better at certain things, and DeMarco Murray is better at second things. So I'd say they're both in the same category of good running backs. So, yeah. LeGarrette Blunt, I guess, isn't that big of a deal since he hasn't really had that big of a season. I think he had, like, one good run the whole season, or maybe two. Whereas Le'Veon Bell is that. He's definitely the first string over LeGarrette Blunt. Okay, so one more thing I'm going to talk about is the Michael Vick and Geno Smith situation. Michael Vick and Geno Smith are the two quarterbacks for the Jets. And so there's been a lot of argument whether to start Michael Vick or to start Geno Smith. Now, my personal opinion is you can't really put those two together. I mean, you can because they're general. Geno Smith is a little bit better at passing, and Michael Vick is a little bit better at running. So if the, if the scheme for the Jets is to be more running, then I would put the Michael Vick in. Whereas if it was more for passing, I would put Geno Smith in. Like, for instance... Well, actually, actually, what I'd do if I was their coach is I would put Michael Vick in for certain plays, and I would put Geno Smith in for certain plays. Like, if it was a read option or something, I would put Michael Vick in. Whereas if it was, like, a deep bomb or if it was, you know, some sort of, um, it's like a regular play. I mean, Michael Vick could be in for some regular plays too, but if it was, like, a regular good old passing play where no running is intended, I would put Geno Smith in. Don't come in and doing something. Sorry, that was... Uh, stop! Please stop knocking! Yeah, I have some, like, cousins over, and they're kind of annoying, but whatever. Yes, my cat is loving me. Sorry for all the distractions. So, yeah. Those are my... So, what I do is actually... Yeah, I would put them... I would put both of them in for certain plays. Certain plays I would put Michael Vick in, and certain plays I would put Geno Smith in. So, yeah. That ends my thoughts on the NFL currently. So, yeah, thanks. Um, for now, Masterly Gaming out.